Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a new year and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, I am customizing liquid African black soap into one of my all-time favorite mixes, my extra creamy minty sheer bath cream. <laughs> That's quite the mouthful. That has skin-loving natural oils, mild exfoliant, and is well suited for all skin types, especially dry skin. Now, if you would love to know how it's made, then keep on watching. Since I'm basically making a lotion, I'm going to start off with emulsifiers and co-emulsifiers. And next is some unrefined shea butter. I don't use the refined stuff, the unrefined is so good. And next is my favorite ingredient, menthol crystals. This leaves a very nice cooling sensation on your skin, especially if you have it in lotions or soaps. And then we have some food grade citric acid, some preservative and sodium lactate. I love sodium lactate because it's a mild exfoliant and it also moisturizes the skin. Also, I have some natural oils. This is a combination of mint oil and vitamin E oil. And the brands that I'm using are the mint oil from Hemani. Hemani has so many different types of oils and most of them come in 30 ml amber bottles and Puritan Sprite vitamin E oil. It's a food grade vitamin E oil, vitamin E oil, sorry, and can also be applied topically. Next is some shea nut oil. This is basically liquid shea butter. It's really moisturizing on the skin. It just gives you a nice glow, especially when you use it on dry skin. And it's not a creamy minty bath cream without some peppermint essential oil. And last but not the least, is some liquid black soap which I made with equal parts of Nigerian and Guinean black soap, some distilled water and some vegetable glycerin. So like I said before I'm basically making a lotion so I'm going to be using the double boiler method to melt the emulsifiers and oils and I'm going to be directly heating up my soap since I already pre-melted the soap a few days before filming this video. So you want to place your soap on low heat and your emulsifiers in the double boiler on low heat as well and making sure you stir occasionally with stainless steel utensils or a heat proof spatula so that you have your heat distributed uh, across your, your mixtures. Once your emulsifiers have dissolved halfway through, you want to add your menthol crystals to the mix. Menthol crystals dissolve totally in alcohol but since I'm not using alcohol in this formula I'm adding it to the heated oil instead. Now once a thin film forms on the surface of your black soap that's been heated it's time for you to turn off the heat and just let the soap simmer. Just make sure you give it a good stir so that you dissolve any coagulated lumps of soap within your mixture and check the temperature as well. This was pretty hot by the time it was done so I just left it to cool while I was busy melting the shea butter and the shea oil. So once the menthol crystals have lost its crystalline structure and it's just granular resting at the bottom of the melted emulsifiers, you can go ahead and add your other ingredients which are the shea oil and the shea butter. I don't add these two ingredients when I'm melting the emulsifiers because I don't want the heat to destroy the emollient and moisturizing properties of the shea oil and the shea butter. Shea oil and shea butter don't really respond so well to extreme heat. It actually breaks down the structure of both the oil and the butter. So once the emulsifiers are hot and melted, just add the shea oil and the shea butter and just melt on really low heat. Once everything is done, it's time to combine all your ingredients together. Make sure you give your soap one last stir to make sure there aren't any clumps or lumps of soap hiding at the bottom of your melted soap. And then it's time to add your melted oils, your melted emulsifiers and menthol crystals into the same bowl that has your soap and the emulsification happens almost immediately. Like you see it happen right in front of your eyes. Make sure you get everything in there. This was 
my first time using this particular batch of mental crystals the last time I used it mental crystals actually dissolved in what I was mixing so I'm just going to throw everything in there and fun fact <laughs> everything dissolved so make sure you get a good batch of mental crystals if you do decide to try this soap out once everything has been mixed just give your mixture a good stir and I am going to grab my stick blender to blend the emulsion to perfection you want to make sure that in the long run you don't have any separation. Stick blenders are usually very loud so from this point on I'm using the sound from the blender. Just make sure you use your blender to blend and stir as you mix in circular motions to get a good emulsion. So after you're done blending for a few minutes, add the sodium lactate. Sodium lactate should go in at the same time as your soap, but I'm just adding it now. So just make sure you mix in your sodium lactate in your mixture and you blend and mix properly. So once your mixture has cooled down a bit to like room temperature or even colder, you can go ahead and add your other ingredients, that's your citric acid and your preservatives and your oils, the mint oil and vitamin E oil and the peppermint essential oil. This particular batch was like 1.3 kilograms. I measured it and that was like the end result of my formula. So I ended up adding like 60 drops of peppermint essential oil to this and then the oils went in you could add more you could add less it depends on you but I think 60 drops that roughly translated to 20 drops per bottle was a pretty good um, proportion so I'm grabbing my stick blender again and I'm going to blend the oils that I've just added the citric acid and the preservation uh, sorry preservative right into the mixture So once these kind of crater-like holes start appearing on your soap, because as your soap cools down, it gets thicker, that's just a very good sign that you're almost there. Your soap is almost ready to be bottled. So just leave it to cool off after you've gotten to this stage. The last ingredient for this soap is cocoa betaine, and it's a surfactant derived from coconut oil, and it lends some extra cleansing and foaming effect to this soap because black soap can be tricky sometimes when you add uh, make it an emulsion it loses some of its foaming and cleansing capabilities but with the addition of cocoa betaine it actually helps it foam better so this time as against a stick blender i'm just going to grab a hand whisk to mix that cocoa betaine in and i added some tea tree essential oil last minute addition tea tree blends so well with mint I just had to <laughs> so go ahead and mix this in properly still using the hand whisk we don't want to break apart the emulsion so badly with a hand blender so for packaging I'm going to be using this freshly washed and sanitized Boston round 500 ml bottles and if you're someone that likes customizing soaps and creams and lotions then this part is for you so out of this batch, I should be able to get three bottles, but instead of just three plain bottles, I'm going to section out one 500 ml um, portion of the soap. And to this, I'm going to be adding a serum that I no longer use <laughs> on my face. It didn't really do so much for me. And that's the Nutri Herbs uh, Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I bought this on AliExpress and I had high hopes for it, but it didn't really work for my face, but it does really well on my skin. So I decided to add it to this particular batch of soap. So adding it to the soap, I'm just going to grab a spatula and just mix it in. You don't have to worry about using a whisk or a hand blender, but you could, but just stirring it in is pretty, pretty um, okay as well. So once you're done with this, you are going to grab a funnel and fill your bottle as gently as possible 
make sure you don't have any air pockets in it so that you don't have your soap bubbling out when you put the um what they call it the pump head on it <laughs> So once you fill the bottle, you want to grab the pump head and just tap it around inside the bottle a bit to release any air in the bottle and your soap is done. So there you have it, one bottle of a serum filled creamy black soap. Now with all handmade creations, you want to make sure you label your um, craft so that you know other people would be able to identify what you have actually if you are not alone in this space but just make sure you label with as much information as you can this is my creamy mint bath cream that has vitamin c a vitamin c serum and some tea tree essential oil now it's time to test out what the oh i have made <laughs> so it thickened out quite well when it was really cool and it spreads beautifully on the skin if this were a lotion it would absorb really well it has a good slip and a good spread and it's a little bit sticky obviously because it's soap and it lathers beautifully yes we added some cocoa betaine to help or aid its lathering process but soap is really 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 alkaline so it forms a great deal and it cleanses the skin beautifully like you wouldn't even need to use a moisturizer stepping out of the shower after using the soap that's how I feel with it I feel squeaky clean and very very moisturized <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description box if you give this soap a try let me know and um, share your results leave me a comment how did it work out and uh, I'll, I'll, I'd, I'd really love to know. So if you loved watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.